going into these elections, there are two days left, and the AAP has, there are two or three strengths that the AAP has counted on over the past two months of campaigning that there has been. Um, first, obviously, is the fact that they've had a face who is immensely popular, uh, who was a former chief minister. In 49 days, there was a lot that they have said about electricity, water, power. Essentially, they've localized the elections successfully. Um, the face that has localized these elections is a very popular face. And therefore, it hasn't been easy for Narendra Modi of the BJP to counter that face because he is a national figure. Um, the AAP has worked also, secondly, on the on the fact that their volunteers have gone house to house and they've gone house to house for over a year actually because as things would have it, uh, Kejriwal gave up power in February 2014. They thought that elections would follow immediately which means their army of volunteers uh, were on the ground in Delhi. Then the Lok Sabha elections came, at that point they thought elections would be held, state elections would be held, again they were on the ground. After the Lok Sabha elections, where the BJP had seven seats in Delhi, all seven parliamentary seats, again, they thought that this is when the BJP will call elections or will allow elections to happen. So again, their volunteers were around. And ever since, they've constantly been working in preparedness for an election. So one year of campaigning on the ground on purely local issues, um, that I think is the AAP's biggest strength. The otherwise, and one other thing that they've constantly done is that they've managed to gouge these strengths into, into interesting ways of, di of telling people of, that they're doing it. So Delhi Dialogues is something that they've constantly done on water, power, different issues. And a sense of engagement has constantly happened, which the, uh, which the BJP has only been, the BJP has only addressed local issues come the last lap of these elections, and they've been doing it for over a year, um, which is perhaps their biggest strength. A weakness is perhaps a weakness for the, for the AAP, if you were to look at it, is that they have 27 MLAs and some of those MLAs now, for, they were first voted into power because they believed, because there was this sense of freshness with the AAP, that they were doing these radically different, radically new things and they came in with that wave. Some of their MLAs are now also going to be assessed on their own strength, what they've done in their constituencies for a year. Even if they were only in power of government for 49 days, what they've done in their constituencies till the assembly was dissolved. And some of those MLAs are not seasoned politicians, which means they may not have been able to deliver very well. In which case, those MLAs personally themselves will, will face a very, very difficult battle uh, with the BJP, with the Congress, where there are old hands who are trying to make, who are trying to re-enter the scene in those constituencies. But overall, I think the most important thing for the Ahmadmi Party has been to localize these elections as far as possible, to keep it away from the Narendra Modi versus K Arvind Kejriwal debate. And at the end of the day, it forced the the BJP to bring in Kiran Bedi as a Delhi local face. And again, there wasn't enough time for her to localize the debate like the AAP has always been doing. So Kejriwal has always been two steps ahead. Um, but they do have individual fights that they must win for them to come forward, in this, to, for them to emerge victorious towards the end of these elections. When BJP went into elections this time, it was very confident that it will repeat its experiences and its experiment that was held in other states like Haryana, Jharkhand and Jammu and Kashmir. They decided to go with the Modi face. Their face was Modi this election in Delhi. But soon everything changed. The party high command realizes that Delhi is not as easy as they think. AAP is quite strong here. They have a strong opposition, which is not a political party. Even Shah at one of the meetings told Delhi leaders that we have to fight them like an NGO. It is not a political party. So th this is an unusual fight for them. They were not very confident of their groundwork and their Delhi leaders as well. The groundwork they have done, there was anti-incumbency. The MLAs were not able to do any development work for past one year because of the president role. So they decided to go with the 300 MPs. Those MPs were told to hold public meetings and get in touch with the people of their region to tell them about the Modi government and the help they'll extend to the Delhi as well and the residents as well when they come to their states. But even that didn't help. Soon they realized that the challenge is tough. 
and Delhi unit does not have a face. The leadership is weak. Aap mounting the attack on the Delhi president and its general secretary was the final nail. And that is when the party leadership decided that it is not the Delhi leader that will lead them into the elections. That is where it was decided that Kiran Bedi should be parachuted into the Delhi election, which offended many of the party leaders. And in fact, party leaders registered the protest against bringing outsider into the Delhi. But nonetheless, it was Amit Shah's decision and the decision was taken. So Kiran Bedi was launched into the election with fanfare. It was, many believe that it was a master stroke on part of the top leadership as it disbalanced AAP for quite some time. But soon AAP gained the ground and they were balanced enough to mount their attack, not on Bedi, but on Modi, but on local, the, they focused on the local issues. There are many strengths of BJP that they are banking upon. First, it's a political party with resources. Secondly, it has government at the center which is always an upper hand in every election. And thirdly, it has RSS as an organizational support. The RSS people can go door to door without the Delhi cadre being disturbed from their functioning. They also do door to door work campaigning. They mobilize people on the ground. And it has a strong leadership. It has an experience of running the government. But there are many weaknesses as well. The Delhi unit is dissatisfied with many parachute candidates that the, that the, that the top brass has sent in Delhi. Plus, MCD has not been, all the three corporations has not been able to do the work that it should have been in Delhi. The Delhiites are not very happy with the sanitation, with the electricity, with, the, with many things that corporation could have done. There's anti-incumbency against the, uh, uh, many MLAs who have not been able to do any development work in the area for past a year.